Stella, toothpaste. What happened to it? Where is it? Oh, I forgot to mention, toothpaste has finished though. Finished? So just give them money to go and buy another one. How? I just bought toothpaste now. How? No. What? Don't, don't, don't tell me no. What do you put with toothpaste in this house? Do you spread it in bread or do you, do you use it for your tea? How can the toothpaste be finished? I just bought it. But, Frederick, the last time you bought toothpaste was three months ago. The one that even finished, I bought it. So just give them money to go and buy another one. I don't have money. I don't have money. If you're waiting for my money this morning to go and buy toothpaste, just wait, we wait forever because I don't have money. I don't have money. What is it? I woke up in the morning. First thing you ask me for money, I'm going to bed in the night. Money, why? That's why some men, they leave their house, they don't come back. They don't come back because of these little things that women can do. Can't you see that a man should have the time to rest and be in peace? What's the problem? Now you're asking me for money because you want to use toothpaste. Toothpaste will give you money now. You ask me for money. Buy toothpaste. Put in your bathroom. You're waiting for me to buy toothpaste as your husband, right? As the provider of the house. So what all, do you do? All in the these house? ones you are doing nice because you're not going to buy toothpaste. I don't toothpaste. have money. I do not have money. So you can wait forever. I don't have money to buy toothpaste. What is it now? You want me to give you money so you can waste it again on toothpaste? <laughs> Dry. The bread is dry, right? Just manage, eh? Uh, we, we, we'll see how we can get butter. There's no butter. Why is there no butter in the house? Don't that fire your mouth there. Daddy, where is there no butter? Why is there no butter in the house? Frederick. It, no, 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 Frederick. Please. She knows your mother. Why can't you ask your mother? Because you're the head of the family. You're supposed to provide all these things. Don't that fire your mouth too. Because I'm the head of the family. If I'm the head of the family, what is your mother? Is she not the neck of the family? If the head fails, what is the neck supposed to do? Not give support? I don't blame you. You're sitting on the table, you have bread, you have tea. When children out there don't even have food to eat for breakfast. Fetch That's why you, don't, don't fetch it me. That's why you're teaching your children. You should make them to understand what a man goes through. You and I know that this breakfast has nothing to do with what you're going through. You earn a lot of money, yet we are living like this. So you're not questioning me in front of your children? No, I'm, I'm just asking. <laughs> because I know where this bread came from. Mm. The fact that I've even been asking you for a toaster, you refuse. I had to use fry pan to make this toast and see how horrible it looks. No, it looks horrible. Huh? As a wife, virtuous woman, you are describing the bread you are making for your husband as horrible and you are proud of yourself. Hmm? Ain't not a mother. That's what you're teaching your children. And now you are making them to see you questioning me in front of them. Huh? I don't even understand. You should be teaching your children better things. Teaching them to understand that sometimes things can be good, sometimes things can be bad. They should learn to endure. You know what? There's no point. Um, please hurry up and eat. Let me take you to school. I'll find a way to buy butter on my way back. That's why I say you are spoiling them. You'll find a way to buy butter on your way back. You see? You see what you're teaching them? You're spoiling them. Hmm? Spoiling them. Go to school. As soon as you come back, there will be butter in the house. Let them understand that sometimes things can be tough. I don't blame you. I blame myself. It's my fault. If I had bought a cane and put it somewhere in the house that they will see the cane. Every time they see the cane, they will be reminded that if they mess up, they will get flogged. You're not going to flog oh, them. Oh, yes, I'll flog them. My children are very disciplined children. If they misbehave, we discipline them. Mm. But you're not flogging my kids because they asked you for ordinary butter. Ordinary butter. So why don't you go and pick the ordinary butter from, from the streets? Ordinary butter. If it's so ordinary, why, why don't you have it on your table? Your children, they are complaining about butter. Ordinary butter. And now it's your children, right? Huh? It's your children. My children, you will not flog my children. Eh? But if it's time to buy butter, your father. If it's time to pay school fees, your father. If it's time to pay anything else, your father. But if it's time to discipline them, it's my children. I don't even know why I'm even here. I should just get up. Go to the office and have some decent breakfast. You're going to your office to have a decent breakfast. Eh, Frederick? So we, we, are, we are left to, to, to eat the crumbs. It don't mean you're embarrassed. You embarrass yourself in front of your children. You are left to eat the crumbs. 
instead of making a decent breakfast for your husband, you are complaining. Virtuous woman. Bragging. Frederick. Don't Frederick me. Are you able to eat it? Yes, ma'am. Let's go. Hurry now, let's go. When there are cars in the house. I'm thinking the same thing too. And sometimes that treats us as if we're not his children. As if he adopted us. Listen, you cannot say that about your father. He loves you. He loves you so much. Okay? But it looks like he doesn't. He treats us like charity cases. Come on, mama. Where did you even hear the word charity cases from? Mommy, we may not know much, but I feel like that man is not our father. Alan, whatever your dad and I are going through has nothing to do with you, okay? We'll sort ourselves out. But don't you ever say that your father doesn't love you. He's your father, okay? Get in, let's go. Mommy, get in. No, Alan, stay in front. Yeah, let's go. Okay, yes, yes, let's go. Yeah, let's go, yeah. Go, go, just go. Yes, come in. Ah, ah. Thank God you're back. My dear, I'm just coming back. Ah, ah. Are you serious? Welcome. Mm -hmm. These are the things you asked me to get. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you're about 23K. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're Thank welcome. You. You're welcome. You know what? Maybe by the end of the month, I would have gathered enough and I'll, I'll pay you back. Like how? One thing now. Hey. Stella, for how long do you want to continue doing this? What are you talking about? Do you know exactly what I mean? I mean, you are married to a rich man. Your husband is not poor. I mean, your husband is rich. Look at your house. Look at the luxurious cars he drives. So why begging from here and there? I don't understand. Your salary is not even enough for you to run this home, yet you're putting yourself under this pressure. If your husband is not man enough to run this home, why don't you divorce him and just move on with your life? Ah, hey, are you joking? Divorce who? I have two kids. What are you talking about? 
babe, having two kids doesn't mean you should stick around for somebody that doesn't even care about you or your kids. What are you even saying? Babe, the truth. A man that has the kind of money that your husband has shouldn't be putting his wife in this kind of stress. I mean, most of these men don't even allow their wife to work. But you know I'm not an idle person, no? Of course, I know you're not an idle person. I know that. I mean, you're one of the most hardworking person I know. And it would be very stupid for a woman not to work or have something to do with her hands. Look at you. You're shouldering almost all the responsibilities of a rich man. And your husband is well to do, he has this money. Maybe by the time I start putting the pressure on you, you will put the pressure on him and look for my money. What? Why would you say that? Please, I want to go and cook. Come and assist me, Jerry. I should come and assist you. Under one condition. Hmm. What's the condition? Not two places I want. Two takeaways. <laughs> you know what? Two, two, two plates under this 25 kilo I brought. If I, I go out of 10, you're supposed to give me. From where now? From this one. You're not serious. <laughs> hey. Bring it, Jerry. <laughs> Thank you. Just to fresh. They let you one much. man, they do eh, eh, anyhow. You don't do. Mm. On top 23K, they tell me one tending. Betty, darling. Betty, my darling. How are you today, darling? I've been trying to get a ride for the past 30 minutes and I can't get any ride. What? What? You're crying? What happened? It's getting dark. Please, can you come and pick me? I don't want to be robbed here. Where are you? Just tell me where you are. I'll be there right now. Okay, thank you, baby. All right, I'll send you the location now. Okay, I'm coming. She's crying. What happened? I couldn't get any right. I thought somebody tried to rob you. No. Is that all? I'm fine now, now that you're here. All right, come on, let's go. I think I need to get you a car. I need mean, yes, a baby. nice car for you. Come here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You okay? Yes, baby. All right. Yeah, I need to get you one brand new car so that people don't get to try to disturb you, you know?
So? Um, I just want to say thank you for always being there for me. I called you and you literally just came all the way. Thank you. You're welcome, darling. Anything for you, darling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what? I, um, I want to give you some cash, you know, so you have in your purse. Oh. Take it. It's hundred thousand. Thank you. <laughs> I will send you some money tomorrow, just uh, so you can use it to take care of yourself. Maybe um, two, three hundred thousand. <laughs> Baby, did I look that cheap to you? I will top it up. Yes. Five hundred thousand. Yes. <laughs> um, I think you should send it tonight. Don't get me waiting. Yeah, you're right. Tonight, tomorrow. I mean, what's the difference? Tonight. I'll send it tonight. Yes, baby. You're welcome. Hmm. <laughs> you were so beautiful. And you are so handsome. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Um, your stuff uh, in the boot, don't forget. Yeah, sure. I'll pick them. Don't worry. All right. Bye. Bye. Hi, Clara. What's up? Where are you? Maga, don't drop, Pobi. <laughs> I told you. All I needed to do was one phone call. Yes. Please, please, they call my house. Yes. Let's have some fun, I beg. Hey. Hey, darling. What happened? You came a bit late. Yeah, work was hectic today. But okay. I'm fine. Um, did you make something to eat? Yes, I'll serve the, I'll serve the dining. Let me no, help you. No, no, it's okay. I'll just go upstairs and freshen up. Mm. Yeah, I'll be right down. Okay. Thank you. Is there only one piece of meat on the food? I'm sorry, we didn't really have much ingredients in the house. I just decided to make this concussion rice and the small meat. Wait, I don't understand. So you expect me to eat a food with one meat on it? A titled man? Baby. And you are giving excuses? Baby, you know I will not do that on a normal day. We don't have anything in the house. Uh -uh. Don't you walk. Don't you work? I don't understand you. You go to work every day, and you 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 you're complaining that you don't have you don't have money for what you don't have money for what. I don't understand. You guys talk about equality all the time, feminism. You want to have equal rights, eh? I just give you right right to cook. Now you can't even fulfill your part, and you're complaining. You don't you don't you you, you are, don't like all, all the money I've been giving you. What do you do with the money for food? What money are you talking about? This food I even made it with my money. When last did you give me money for food? I give you money for food, don't I? What, what are you complaining about? You wake up in the morning, you go to work. I go to work. When it's to complain about money for the kids, you come to me, I'll give you money for the kids. All the other things I'm taking care of in the house. So to cook food, to buy meat. You expect your husband to come and eat uh, a single meat like a, a kebab or you give it, give it to the dog. Daddy, what's wrong with eating food with one meat? Yeah, don't worry, my son. You won't understand, eh? Don't mind your mother. Oh. She's trying to influence you. She don't eat food with one meat. Huh? I'm a title man. Okay? So you're not eating? Yeah, you can divide it into three pieces. Share it. Eat it. Hey, drop that. Frederick, we need to talk. 
Ah. Frederick. What now? What did you say? We need to talk. Talk? Yes. What's wrong with you? I just... At this time of the night, you want to talk about now. Some of the witches are with people up or want to have a meeting at the seven of the night. Are you a witch? Yes, sir. From the way things are going, I might become one very soon. You will make me a witch. Get up, let's talk. I hope whatever you want to talk about is what's it or what's my time. Don't come and waste my time. What is it? What do you want to talk about? What's the problem exactly? Where? With us. You have a good job. A good job. Paying job. Huh? Yet you are living like paupers. I don't know what the problem is. That's why I'm asking you as my husband. Because I'm very tired. What exactly is the problem? Hey, you are living like paupers. In this kind of house. Even in this bad economy. You still have a decent place to live and you are complaining about it. The economy is bad. It's very bad. Things are very hard. Huh? Don't you know it? Are you the only one dealing with the bad economy? Because the last time I checked, you work and I work too. But yet you've left the entire body of this household on me. And I'm just sick and tired. Why? I'm owing debt here and there when I have a husband who's very capable of helping me out, but he will not. You are living just fine. Things are okay with you. I'm doing very well. Yes. Are you the one that you are saying I'm doing very well? Though? I don't know what I'm doing that is well. That like you are saying I'm doing very well. You're adding well to what I'm doing. What do you want? I want you to stand up to your responsibilities. My children's school fees needs to be paid. They are threatening to throw them out of school. Their school books have expired. They need new ones. Uniforms. What, should I continue? Nothing is working because you will not help and I'm so tired. This is bad. Oh. This is really, really bad. What I mean, is bad? You, you, you're complaining because you're spending your own money. Spending your own money on your children, you're complaining. Don't twist my words. It's, I'm not twisting you your words. You are twisting are you my words. You're complaining right now uh, because you're spending money to buy books or to, to help your husband. Uh, it's a problem. You're complaining on your own children. Children you say you love. Why are you complaining? Uh, I don't have money. It's not going to change anything. I don't have money. I don't have money. Oh. Eh? You don't know what the man is going through. I don't have money. What are you going through, Frederick? There are two cars parked in this house. And you won't let me drive any of them. Because you claim that the cost of fuel is so expensive. I have to take my own children to school in a public transportation. Price of fuel has gone up. Eh? Am I the one that put the price of fuel, fuel up? I'm not the one. Four used to be 169, it's gone to almost 1,000 Naira. What should I do? Frederick, let me tell you. I came into this marriage as a partnership and to support you and not to carry the entire burden of this family on my shoulder. Frederick, I will not continue to do it. You hear me? Burden of this family? Are you the one shouldering the burden of this family? Because you buy pepper, onions, cube. Now, you are shouldering the body of this, of this family. I pay the rent for this house. I put a roof over your head, you and your children. Eh? I pay school fees when I have the money too. Eh? And you are shouldering the body of this family. See how you are bragging about it already. Eh? I will not continue to live like this with you. I will not. I'm tired. I am reaching my breaking point and I will not continue to live like this with you. You either help me or help myself out. Hey, hey, hey. I don't even understand you. You are tired. Ha. You should be grateful you have a husband like me. Eh? Give me all the support I can give you. You don't even know what a man is going through. Do you know what I'm going through? To even give you the kind of support I'm giving you? And you are complaining. You should be grateful now. You never know what a man is going through. Hello? Oh, hi. It's you. Yeah. You didn't even tell me you were coming. Uh, I'm sorry for that. I uh, was thinking about you and, uh, you know, I said maybe you're a bit tired to cook. So I stopped by. 
restaurant and、oh. I got you something to eat for lunch. Really?、Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow. Yeah. This is so nice of you. <laughs>、uh, um, I guess you should you should be leaving now. Ah、uh, no, I I just you know want to keep you company before I get back to work. Oh no no no, it's fine. Don't worry. Um, it's just that you know I've I I think I need to rest. You know I've been I've been having um this period pain. Period pain? Is it serious? You want to see a doctor? No, 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 it's not that serious. No, I can take you to the hospital. It's fine. I'm fine. Okay, I just need to rest. All right, I I understand. <laughs> a man is going through a lot, you know. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> And a woman is going through a lot every month. <laughs> uh, well, um, I will, I will leave. Okay, but if you need anything, just let me know. Don't worry, I'm fine. Okay. You're such a sweet man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my sweetheart. All right. All right. We'll talk later. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Frederick, what is your problem?、Hmm? Have you seen how your wife dresses and your kids? Look, the way a woman dresses and her children is an evidence of how much a man makes. When your kids is different, what do you see in this little girl you're chasing up and down? Melvin, you have no idea what a man goes through. No, you don't have any idea because if you did. You won't be saying what you're saying to me right now.、Mm-hmm. You see that girl you are calling a little girl. She's beautiful, but not just beautiful. She's succulent, like really succulent, very delicious. Very Your wife was beautiful and succulent before you married her. Don't you think she needs maintenance? She needs what? Maintenance. Is she a car? Huh? She needs maintenance. I don't understand. My wife is getting old. She should just accept the fact that she's getting old. She's getting old. Everything is falling apart. You're comparing your wife that has given you two beautiful children to a girl that has never been to the theater to have a child. Melvin, first of all, you do not understand how this girl makes me feel. You have no idea. I'm telling you the truth because sometimes. The way I feel when I see this girl is like I want to pack all my money, pack everything I've made, just go and give it to her so she can be happy. That's the annoying thing. That's the most annoying thing. Why? This girl doesn't even look like someone that wants to have anything to, to do with you. All she wants is just take, 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 and not give anything. While your wife and your nana is giving, 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 and not getting anything. Eh? What do we men really want? What do we want? Why do we men do this? Why do we men do this? I don't even understand because, like I said, you have no idea what a man is going through. You don't know my needs. You don't know what I want. You don't have an idea. You're just saying what you feel. So if you were in my shoes, if you understood what I'm going through, what a man is going through, you won't say what you say. So I forgive you. It's okay. Say whatever you want to say. Whether you like it or not, I'm a man.、Hmm? I know what men go through. I said this is not what. Men is going through. It is what you are putting your wife through. Look, Frederick, if anything happens to you today, God forbid, your wife becomes a widow and your children fatherless. Guy, don't place any girl above your family now. Retrace your step. Treat your wife well. Frederick, this is not you that I know now. Okay. Thank you for your advice. Hmm. This one you're doing is、uh, Ash. Cool, right? You can sit down. Just I don't have drinks in my office. You know my office is very. I don't have anything to drink. When you start acting like this, I understand now. Ash, cool. You still in pains? I've been calling you. You were not picking my calls. That's why I came to check on you. Baby, you know now this whole menstrual thing is very painful. So I was even on my phone, eh? Your menstrual something is very strange. You don't want to take it to the hospital. No, 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 baby, baby. 
I want to go to the hospital myself. So all I need right now is money from you. Well, I can carry you myself now. No. Hey. It's a woman thing. Don't worry, I'll handle it myself. Hey, but the thing is I need money. You need mm. money? Yes. I need some money. You know money is not a problem. You're not very good. I will give you money and tell you need money. But I just want to make sure you're fine. Yeah. That's why I want to carry you to the hospital. Oh, baby, don't worry. I'll take care of my... I'm talking too much. I'll okay, take care of myself. Okay, let me carry you inside. Let's go. Let's go inside. Let me carry you inside. Look at the time now. Oh, no, you have to go home. Eh? You don't want me to see don't your house. Mm. Okay. You come again. That's no, not no. safe. Don't worry. Just go home. I'll take care of you. All I need is just the money. I'll go to the hospital. I don't want to bother you. I don't want to bother you. You cannot bother me. Don't worry. No, 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 it's already late. You. you cannot bother me. I'm here for you. Whatever you need. Eh? I have all the time in the world for you. See, the pain is getting too much. Here. The pain is getting much. That's why you have to send the money fast, fast now. Okay. Let me go to the hospital. Okay. Okay. I will send the money when I get to my house. Are you sure? Ah, the more you waste time, the more this thing is getting serious. I will send serious. the money. I don't have my token with me. Eh. Yeah. This night, oh. Yes, this night. If you don't send it this night, something will spoil, oh. I will send it this night now. Are you sure? Yeah, I don't have my token. It's my mobile app. It's not working. Hey, please, the more you waste time, the more this thing is going to work. So, no. Yes, sir. So, let me just. Ah, this, no, uh, no, no, no. Don't worry. Okay. Just go, okay, go, sir. go. Oh, okay. Mm, mm. If you don't sure, worry, you I'm, a, I'm a strong woman. Okay. I know. I can see you're strong. <laughs> Very strong. Uh, all right. Hey, okay, 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 I hear you. Don't worry about it, okay? It's fine. We'll have the meeting in 30 minutes. When I get there, I'll talk to them about it, so... Don't worry about it. I'll talk to them about it. Yeah, in 30 minutes. Okay, bye. 30 minutes, we'll have the meeting. It's fine, okay? Just calm down. All right. Okay. All right, bye-bye. Betty, Betty, <laughs> this is what you're calling me. I hope everything is okay. No, 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 babe, I'm fine. It's just that I'm craving for pizza, shawarma, and I think I want cake too. Maybe you know, it's, it's my period. <laughs> it's making me crave a lot of things. And I know you love me. So you can do this for me, right? Uh, when do you want it? Baby, can I get it now? Now? Uh, I, I really have, I have a meeting, like... Okay, um, you know, it's, it's fine. I'll get it for you. Yeah, I'll bring it quickly to you. Yes. That's my baby. Thank you so much. I love you. I love you. <sighs> Rubbish. Wine? You never asked for wine. I did. I asked you to give me wine so I can use to push down these things now. No, you didn't. Why would you treat me like this? You're in my condition. Hey, 
Oh, don't talk about it. It's okay. Huh? Yeah. So we just wash up and get you also for that, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, I'll be right back. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I got your wife. Oh, baby, you're back. Yeah, I'm back. I got your wife for you. Thank you. This looks good. Yeah, anything for my baby girl. Did you get ice cream? No, you said you wanted wine, not ice cream. Oh, yes, I did, but I suddenly have the urge for ice cream. You know, it's not my fault. It's this period thing. You know how it can be now. You are seeing your period. You're not pregnant. I mean, even my wife, she... What? Oh, I'm sorry. Never mind. It's not your fault. If, if not for my condition, I would have just went ahead to get it myself. It's okay. Come on, darling. No, it's okay. No, no, no. It's okay. I will get you ice cream, right? You want ice cream? I'll get you ice cream. Um, I'll just rush off and get you ice cream, okay? You want ice cream, right? Mm -hmm. Ice cream, you will get. <laughs> I'll be right back, okay? Then we rush off. so foolish. Well, I don't blame him. I only blame his wife for marrying such a nonsense. But please, I pray I don't get to miss this kind of nonsense in my lifetime. Tell me what exactly you want to each flavor of ice cream. So I thought I get, you know, two, so you could probably just choose any one you want. I don't understand. Do you want to give me the habitus? No, I just uh, wanted to get different flavors and different stuff. So, you know, the up and down, you know, going, oh. get some something, coming back. I just want you to have it all so you can enjoy what you want. Mm. Yeah. I didn't want you to lose your appetite, you know. By the time I go, come back, go, <laughs> come back. You might lose your mm. appetite. Well, guess what? I've lost my appetite. And secondly, I don't think I want it anymore. You've lost what? Your appetite? Yes. You can't lose your appetite. Eh? You know what I've gone through going back and forth, coming back and forth for the ice. You know how I spent to get this for you? I spent a fortune. You have to eat it. What am I supposed to do with it? Take it home? Eat it. Take it. Um, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you shouting at me because of common ice cream? You have no idea what a man is going through. I, it, it... You know what? I hope you're fine now. Uh, this is ice cream. You know, just eat it. You'll feel much better. I have to go back to work. Um, I hope you, you stay fine, okay? All right? Take care of yourself, okay? All right? Thanks, girl. Take your ice cream now. What? Are you angry with me? No, I mean, I don't have the power to be angry at you. I'm, I'm not. I'm angry at myself. And why is that? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, just uh, please have the ice cream, all right? Oh. What? Nothing. Thank you. Um, okay, I'm going to call you, okay? You're going to call yeah, me? Yeah, we'll speak on the phone. Thank you, thank you. Bye. What's wrong with this girl? After all the walking up and down I've done, can't even enter the house. Not even to offer me water, water. 
I spent a fortune to get these things for you. And you, 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 you banging door on me. What's wrong with yourself? Huh? Do you know what a man has to go through? Do you know what a man goes through every single time? In walking up and down. Let me sort it now. Picking your calls. I just want to say good night so I can have a good night rest. <sighs> or should I just go there and see her? What's the time? Yeah, I think it's the best thing to do. Let me just go there and see her pretty face. I will feel so much better. Come back, I'll be able to sleep well. And stay here like that. Yeah, let me go and see that. Betty. 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 Hey. She's sleeping and she can't even hear my voice. Betty. Betty. And who are you? Huh? What are you doing here by this time of the night? Coming through the back door. Yeah, I'm looking for Betty. As who by this time of the night? Betty's boyfriend. Who are you? Her brother? You refer to me as a brother? Are you <laughs> what? Are you out of your mind? You come to a lady's house, sniffing around through the back door. You see a man in the house and you ask me if I'm her brother? Is that why you slapped me? Why would I slap you? Should I slap you again to reset your brain? <laughs> Me for she's who my the hell now. are you? Who the hell are, are you? You, you asked me who I've never where? seen you here before. Eh? And I have not seen you before. Who the hell are you? Uh -uh. But you don't have to slap me. I now. will slap you again if you do not leave this. Babe, come. <laughs> what the heck is this? Okay. See, you just slapped me. Who is this? I should. Uh, who are you? Well, how, how who am I? <laughs> Betty. What, what, she said you don't know me. Name. Where are you coming from? Where are you? Young man, are you mad? Ah. Is something wrong with you? Baby, baby, it's okay, it's okay. No, baby, it's not. Baby, it's okay. Baby, give me my money, you. Oh. Which money? <laughs> Do you know Give me all the money I've been transferring to you. Just give me my money back. Let me go home. Like, Mr. Man, I suggest you leave. Yes. Eh? Baby, hold this one for me. Get out. Wait, Get now? out! Uh, uh, please, I will blow you. I will blow you. you. What about giving my money back now? Are you that loose? Uh-uh. Which money? You have money. You left your wife at home to come after my fiance. Give me my money back now. Get out of here. Oh my God! Is that what you slap me? Loose like dog! I will I'll, slap I'll you again. I will whip. Get out of here! I will. I'll, I'll go change that for you Baby. because I'm speaking English. It's okay. Betty, shut up! Don't you mind? Don't you? Don't, don't, don't say that name again. You I believe alive. you have a beautiful wife at home. Go back to your wife. Uh, Baby, I don't know him. More. You know this street man now. All this. I don't, I don't, I don't, you obviously Betty, cannot know him. You don't know. Please go. I think he's mad. He has something is wrong. If you're oh. loose, go 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 meet your wife at home. Baby, I'm sorry, I don't know. No, here. it's fine. You don't have to explain.
Did you lose your job or something? Yes, once they're losing my job. Really? I've never seen you like this before. Did you do a bad business? A very bad business. A very bad business. Business without profit. No profit at all. <laughs> hey, hey. Okay, okay, it's okay. Let's 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 go upstairs. <laughs> I can't leave you like this now. Please, let's go upstairs. Oh, please, stand oh, up. Stand up. Just let me cry. I can't just let you cry. cry. You won't stay here. Don't cry about it. Cry. It's okay. Please, let's go. Please, poor boy. Every step of the season, reject it. the problem. What happened? Why are you crying? Did somebody die? Oh, oh, my heart is broken, Stella. My, my heart is broken. And I'm heartbroken to see myself like this. What I'm going through right now, it's, I can't even explain. You have no idea what the man is going through right now. It's did you lose money? Stella, my heart is broken. <laughs> Baby, it's okay. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Are you sure, yeah? Okay. You don't know what the man is going through. You don't know what the man is going through. Baby, come on. <laughs> It's okay. I'm here for you. I'm, I'm here for you. Okay, okay. To realize that it's not your fault, it's my fault. I should have called you before going to your house. 
I should have just walked to your house like that now. Uh, I understand. Just pick up now. Why are you not picking up your call? Eh? Just pick up. I understand. I just want to apologize to you for coming to your house without calling you. I'm the problem. You're not the problem. Just, just pick up. Let me, let, let me talk to you. Let me just talk to you. It's not your fault. It's my fault. Mommy, go and sleep at the door. Okay. How are you doing? <laughs> Good afternoon. Hello, baby girl. Hello. Mm -hmm. What? I mean, it's Saturday, so I thought it's time to, you know, just pamper ourselves. What do you think? Because you know me, I don't have money. It's forget one money I have is one I'm using to take care of my children. She go and do what in the Wait, salon. Forget about the money. Keep looking for the money. Bills on me. Eh? <laughs> Yes. Ah, oh, you should have said it now. Ah, you came here with too much English. Pom pom pom. Then what's going on? Oh yeah, no, go and dress up. Yeah. Yeah, put your face. Put your face. Thank you. You've been rejecting that call since now. Answer. Answer what call? Let him suffer. Babe, do you know this guy had the audacity to come to my house? Unexpected. That's how he caught Jackson and I. And he started behaving, oh, heartbroken, he's in tears, this one and that. Mama, uh, who are you talking about? It's Frederick Bankoli, that big fool. Oh my mm. God. I've seen it now. But if he caught you with Jackson, shouldn't you be the one explaining? I don't understand. Why? See, baby, you should know how to do all these things now. He should keep calling. The more he calls, the more he becomes desperate. Yes, I won't be the one that will have to apologize at the end of the day now. Hey, okay. Give me my room, baby. <laughs> Let me jot things down. My friend is telling me a lot. <laughs> oh, my. I pity you for this guy, wife. I'm telling you. That guy is a muku. Big fool. Hey, big fool. Huh? Well, fashion is very important to me. Forget all these things. <laughs> ah. Don't worry, we'll come around. But you know, eh, with this your move, eh, he'll be the one spending on you, begging you to remain in your life. Yes, now. Hey! Yes, now. But do you know that that guy has never seen my pants before I did it? <laughs> I'm telling you. Yeah, I'm telling you. Big fool. Ah! Oh, <laughs> Give me better paper. Give me better paper. Let me jump in. Hey! You're serious? Yes. How did you know? Big <laughs> fool. She got the devil. <laughs> <clears throat> Hello? Frederick? Hello, baby. Hey, what is it now? See, if someone is not picking your call, it means they are busy or they don't want to talk to I'm you. Oh, my God. I'm very sorry. I've been crying all of yesterday. What? Because I'm so sad. It's all my fault. All right, all right, all right. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. You know, you mean the word to me. If I had to. Oh, I'll call you when I'm free. I'll try. How much? 500,000 to your account. Ah, come on now, that money is too small. I don't take that kind of money. You should know by now. It's just a token to say I'm sorry. Oh, all right, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I've you. I, I, I can do more, just. Uh, <laughs> you two, calm down, no. Calm down. Eh? Calm down for my mugu. Hey. Ah, no. Wait, I was hearing that money is too cheap. Oh. See, you are hot. Oh. See the way you are sweating. <laughs> this money is making you sweat. <laughs> Teach me. <laughs> Oh God! Like, you got this smooth. Uh, the money is so small. It's in love. It's love. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Stella, look at me. This is not the time to cry. You've had enough time to share these tears. This is the time to act. You 
have to stop. You can't be crying here. <laughs> it's okay, please. Please. You know what? What's the plan? I just want to go. You want to go home? Let's go. So if you are using juice to ask me for money, I don't have money. So you can take your juice, go back outside. Oh, I don't have money. I just brought it because I felt you needed it. Yeah, I need juice now. Yeah, but I don't have money. Ha. Did I do something wrong? No, you didn't do anything wrong. I mean, in fact, mm. Mm, it's good. This is what you're supposed to be doing. As a wife, bringing juice for your husband, serving him, cooking for him, taking care of him. But all of a sudden, you just changed, behaving like a stranger. But I'm happy you've come to your senses and uh, you now realize what a man actually goes through. Yes. Mm. I now realize what a man actually goes through. Mm. Well, better late than never. Do you want ice? Mm-hmm. Ice. Mm. Do it quickly, oh. the wallet and the ATM cards. I have the form, yes. The password, I have it. The pin, yes, I have it. The guys around, the account cannot be traced, right? Fine, come on.
<sighs> Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, yeah, my God. Like your stuff? Yes, baby. Oh, that's good. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Sir, it's yeah, sufficient for me. I don't understand. What is all of this embarrassment? Did I you bring me out here to embarrass me? What's this? Is this the way you want to apologize to me? I do not understand what's going on. I brought you out to get your stuff. Why would I bring you out to embarrass myself? I won't do that. I don't know what's going There should be Frederick, an explanation Frederick, for this. Yeah, wait, hold on. Whenever you're ready to spend money, just let me know. I know when that time comes, I'm going to make sure that you're going to spend double of what you're trying to spend here today. Rubbish. Hello, Auntie. My stuff, please. Um, can, can we, huh? can we just... Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm really sorry for this. Look, what, can we find another, another way to... Um, just listen, um, come on. Uh, why don't you guys accept any other means of payment? So what are you telling me? That my account is empty? I checked the app! I checked the app! I thought it was network! But now you're telling me my account is empty! Nothing is there! My money is gone! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Everything is gone. That was the last account. That was the last account. That, like, like how, how? Who took everything from me? Who, who did this to me now? Who, who took all my money now? That, that, that was the last account now. That was the last money I had now. Like, why? <laughs> <laughs> Who took all my money now? Who took all my money now? What? <laughs> all my money now. All my money now. All my money. <laughs> Daddy, finally home. What is it? What is it again? Is this a new style? Every day, this is how you come back home. <laughs> Frederick, did somebody die at your place of work? So, all this happened. What have you done about us? Nothing. What can I do? The transfer was untraceable. There is no way they can, they, can, they can know where it went, which account, which country it landed, nothing. Oh. Yeah. Uh, uh. Okay. So, this is why you need money, right? I'm not giving you shish. If I give you, I'll be encouraging you. I need to survive. 
I need to survive. I need money. How do I do I buy petrol? How do I my accounts are all empty? I need money. Okay. And besides, all the money in my account was not for me. I had money for people. What do I say to them? The truth. Tell them the truth. And I'm sure your wife doesn't even know about it yet. She doesn't know. She must not know. I beg you. Don't tell her anything. Fedric. Otherwise, she wouldn't, she wouldn't know. I've been having money all this while now. Even at this point, you can't still tell your wife the truth. Guy, okay. I hope it's not late before you realize. Melvin, I need money. Can you help me with money? Like I said, if it's money to feed your family, I would gladly give you. But since it's not for your family, search yourself. So that's all you have to say? Any other thing you expect me to say, say to yourself, I am tired of you. Hmm? If you need anything here, I'll be in my office. Right? <laughs> Water, water. My husband. Mm. What is mm. it? Water. What? Water. Oh, what? Oh, oh, oh. 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 Mm. Oh. How can you even serve a food? You don't put water there now. Sorry, you. I just noticed that there's no water in the house. What? What do you mean there's no water in the house? Will you manage this one? Are you making fun of me? No, I, I want water. I, have my, 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 my I mouth. know, but the food is not so spicy now. It's spicy. Just get me water now. Okay, bring money. Let me go and quickly get the water. What do you mean by you bring money? Don't you have water in the house? There is no water in the house. Then buy water. I cooked the food. There's no water. There's no money to buy water. No. What are you telling me now? Come and buy water now. Find money and buy water now. Oh. Are you not going to eat? Try and, try and finish the food now. Whew. I don't know if I have water in my car. Where is the car key? Water in your car? So you're not going to finish the food? Don't touch the food, though. It's my house now. Pepe did not work.
What is it? Stella. What happened? The tap is not running. It just stopped. Oh. Oh, I forgot. You know we have not been paying water bills now, so they sent a message that we're going to cut off the water. What? Me, I had to tell everybody in the house to shower on time more. You didn't tell me. Why now? See, I have, I have soap all over my body now. You know what a man is going through. I cannot come with this my own problem and add to it. Sarah, stop it now. You should have told me now. So what am I going to do now? I forgot. Sorry. What am I going to do? So just use your towel and clean your body like that. Did you start showering? Were you almost done? Are yeah, you at the beginning of what, what point were you? What are we going to do? Husband of mine. I never see something, I go see nothing. What's going on in this house? There's no power in the house. Oh. The unit's just finished though. And because of what a man is going through, he cannot afford to buy fuel. I was working on my laptop. My battery just went off. It's dead. I don't know what's going on in this house. Everything is not working. You turn so, this is not working, that is not working. What's the problem in this house? Oh, how sad. I understand it's not easy for a man. But what do we do? I noticed that a man has not gone to the office in two days now. I hope all is well. Can't a man take a break from what he's going through? You're right. A man can actually take a break so that a man does not die of stress. <sighs> I have emails to send. I have things to do. There's no light in the house. This is not working. That is all. What the hell is going on in this house? Why don't you go to the office? I mean, I'm sure there's lights there. You can walk with your laptop and see it's your office. As long, as, long yeah. as nothing is chasing you. Yeah, you're right. You have a point. I think I should go to the office. I mean, mm. I can't stay in this house where everything seems to be going wrong. Uh, so are we not going to buy the units or fuel? <laughs> hey. Hey. Marriage. What's the meaning of no petrol? I used this car two days ago and it had some petrol inside now. What is going on in this house? How would there be no petrol in the car now? Just trying to frustrate me in this house. Trying to frustrate me in this house. Damn it, man. What am I going through? What is it? I'm just surprised you're supposed to be going out. There's no fuel in my car. I don't have money. How am I supposed to go to the office? You don't have money to buy fuel. Hey, hey, our enemies have gotten us. Who, your enemies have gotten you. I'm just saying, for you not to be able to afford fuel, then there's problem more. What are we going to do now? <sighs> ha. What is happening? Hey, this is serious, so. Uh, your, your friends. I mean, what are friends for? We should be able to come to your aid now. Come, my friend. 
Phone battery is dead again now. What hey. is all this now? Ah. Hey! Laptop is dead. Phone dead. Car no fall. Ah. Ha! This is very serious, so. Hmm. Me, I have full bow. Um, I could call your friend for you, but I don't have his number. Do you have your number? I have it in my pocket. I'm not the problem. I'm the wife of the problem. She over now you they rain. From the east to the west, all over, all over, all over you they rain. <laughs> going on with yourself. Knock twice and see inside. Stella! Stella! Jesus, yes, my darling husband. I'm looking for food in the house. I don't see food in the fridge. Where, where is this from? Oh, our new LG fridge. You've met her. My new baby. <laughs> you like it? Okay. Is there food in the house? Uh, food, no. No, no food in the house? No. So our new LG fridge, where did you get it from? Oh, I bought it. The last one that has been here has not been working, you know. You what? You bought it? I felt we need it. I know we need it. Hey, yeah? <laughs> you don't like it? Wait, so you don't have money to cook, but you have money to buy LG knock knock fridge? Ah, not that there's no, there's just one small soup and there's no meat. And you're tied too cheap. I cannot just give you soup. It's too cheap. Now stop it, now tied too cheap. Can you get me food to eat? Just bring the food, let me eat. Title chief. Ah, you eat it. I'm like not that. a title chief now. Just bring food. I'll eat it like that. I'll eat it like that. Just bring it. Ah. Since when? Ah, okay. Where do you even get money for to buy this fridge? It's a long story. Hey? Huh. Ha! I forgot that this soup is actually bad though. Babes, he's been over a week, okay? He has moved on. Hope you understand now. Hey, baby, can't do this to me now. Eh, I've gotten so used to living off this guy. I'm so frustrated. You know what? If he thinks he's going to leave me in pieces, then I'm going to show him a dose of his own medicine. What are you saying? Betty. Betty! Betty! Hey. Hey. What's going on in this house? Yesterday refrigerator, today dishwasher. Hey. And we say there is no money in that. Husband of mine. Yeah, wife of mine. What's going on in this house? Yesterday was refrigerator. Today I'm seeing dishwasher. Oh, my LG dishwasher. You know, as a very hardworking and a busy woman, I need help. 
what other help can I get other than this LG dishwasher to make my life easier? Ah, Do you like it? Do I like it? So, what is printing this money you're spending in this house? Because I don't understand. There's no money in this house to cook food, though. But you have money to buy refrigerator. And now you're buying dishwasher. Well, my husband, you will not understand what a woman is going through. But don't worry. We will be fine. What is a woman even going through? Stella, what are you even going through? Oza, Oza. Hey, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? So you think you can use and dump me, right? Huh? Use you? Yes. Did I even get to enter your house? How did I use you? In fact, that's not even the point. This is my home. My wife is here. You have to go, okay? Baby, baby, no, don't baby, 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 baby Stop it now. I you. Don't miss me. I'll come to your house and see no, you. No, 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 no. Okay, be good about the money you promised Which, me. Is that why you're here? Yes, baby. Just go to your house. I'll bring the money. No. I will bring the money. Stop. My wife is here. Just I don't go. Care. No, my wife is here. Let's talk about that one later. This is my home. Oh. I understand. Who is there? Uh, she lost her way. can do this now. I need you to I've had enough. Daddy. Sorry, Daddy. You have to go, Mommy. And if I talk to your you, mother. If we stay with you, we'll literally die of hunger. Yes. Yes. We'll see dry bread to eat. Like, exactly. Let's go. Let's go. Wait, oh, but no, now. I can't believe how you Now my heart is you said you love me and that you won't leave me. Ever knows I've been here. Please, you have let me drop you. Now I don't know what to feel anymore. Die without them. Your family, the one you starved to feel this a, a stranger. <coughs> Look, your wife did a good job. She's better off without you. No, don't talk like that now. I know I, I, I was wrong. I, I, I goofed, but I didn't expect that reaction from my wife to just pack up things and leave the house. Alone. Frederick, were you expecting ice cream in exchange for a betrayal? Really? 
Look, Melvin, I love my wife. Melvin, you have to help me talk to my wife, please. Beg her for me. Just beg her to come back. I, 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 I'm going to be different. I'm telling you. You should put this upon yourself. Hmm? You have to right this wrong. Melvin, you're my friend now. Help me talk to my wife for now. But I warned you. I warned you. I know, but it don't happen already now. Just, just help me beg her. I'll try, but you have to, you still have to write the wrong yourself, but I'll try. Hey. I want you, you are busy chasing all those. Oh, I'm cutting myself into a What are you doing in my office? Uh, what are you doing in my office? Excuse you? You're excused. What do you think this place is? Huh? A place for stray dogs? Get out. Baby. Back out! Baby, it's your Betty. Betty or Dirty, whatever your name is, I do not care. What was I even thinking? Say, yeah, baby, it's me, Dirty. Get out of my office! Get up, dog! Get out! What's wrong with you? Get out! When I cut, don't, I'll, when I, I'll, when I, I will, I will, don't let me come. Oh, get out. Out, Joe. Was What's that even thinking? Else but love. Huh. Love. But love. days now and your husband has been coming here to beg you. Tell me, what's your plan? Hmm? I don't know. I just feel very betrayed. <laughs> I feel like I've been sleeping with the enemy. 
You know, just like it is said, men are so unpredictable. Like, I am really shocked. How dare he? My children, I feel so bad for them. Their father has misbehaved so much that they don't even have any regards for him. <laughs> Babe, it is not your fault. Don't fight it. I mean, <laughs> you did your best as a wife, but what did he do? He took it for granted. <sighs> I feel like my time has been wasted. All the effort I put into that marriage, everything gone. Do you know at this point, I can't even stand him. <laughs> Who's that? Could that be him? If it's, if it's him, please don't let him in. Please. <gasps> oh, it's you. Is she here? Please come in. If you've come to beg on your friend's behalf, it's best you leave. I'm not going to listen. You and I are friends. Can't I even visit in that regard? Sit. You know what? I'm just going to let you guys have your privacy so you can talk. Thank you. You're welcome. Midlife crisis happens to a man. And in such time, he doesn't even realize the damages his actions are causing. I don't understand you. Look, not every man has the ability to fight back when this happens. Yes, he cheated on you by spending on that woman and neglecting you, his wife, and his kids. But come to think of it, he did not sleep with this girl. And I'm not trying to justify his action either. Yes, you are trying to justify his action. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Because since I married your friend, I have been dealing with midlife crisis. Look at me. Do I look my age? Do you know what I've gone through? And you're sitting down here telling me about midlife crisis? All I'm saying is, for the sake of your children, reconsider your, your actions, your decisions, and go back to your husband. Hmm? I'm actually here because of my children. Let me ask you a question. What? You know your friend and you're here begging on his behalf, right? Yeah. Great. If I were your sister, would you ask me to go back to a man like that? Thank you. What are you doing here? I, um, I had to come and find you. I, I've been calling you. You haven't been picking my calls. I had no choice but to come, come and look for you. I said, I need you. I, I need to talk to you. I need you to forgive me. You came to look for me. Did milk finish in your house? Hey, if you want me to call the police, that's it? No, no, it's it's okay to barge into my bedroom? If you want to call the police, you can call the police, call whoever you want to call, but I'm not leaving here until I can talk to you. I need you to forgive me, Stella. Please. Forgive you? What exactly am I forgiving you for? The fact that you made me look older than my age because I had to carry the entire responsibility of your house. Is that it? I'm sorry. You're sorry? Frederick, when you married me, you promised to take care of me and my children. What am I even saying? I mean, when we're dating, you literally didn't do anything. You gave excuses why you couldn't meet one or two of my needs, and I thought it was really genuine. But marrying you, I now see that that is who you really are. The first three years, you were okay, kind of. But what happened? You slowly eased up and left every single thing to me, your wife, 
when I have a capable husband? Huh? What have I forgiven you for? Stella, I, I was stupid. I mean, I, I, I was a fool. I, I don't know what I was thinking. Like, not doing the things that I should have done for you. Not taking care of you like I should have taken care of you. I'm sorry. Stella, please, I'm truly sorry. You're sorry. Do you know what cheating does to a woman? If the tables were turned and I cheated, would you forgive me? Hmm? You put me in a position where I have to second guess myself. Ask myself, am I not good enough? Maybe if I was slimmer, maybe if I was taller, maybe if I smiled more, maybe if I did this or I did that, I would be fine. He would love me. He wouldn't cheat. I would be enough for him. Do you know what it does to a woman? Leaving me for a younger woman while I go around feeding your kids and taking care of your household. You think I want to go back to that? I know. I'm not coming back to you. Stella, please. I'm done. Please. I mean, I was, I, I, I was, I know how stupid I've been. But what was I even thinking? I mean, <sighs> Going to be with somebody like that, leaving a woman like you with everything, his substance, and you are every man's dream of a wife. Wow. And I don't know how I just lost it. I, I, I just, I don't know what I was thinking, so I'm truly sorry. I don't want to lose you. You're even more stupid thinking that you'd walk into this place, drop a few lines and tears in your eyes and have me take you back. I will not. Get out. Stella, please. Please, I, I, I need you for the kids, for the kids. I didn't, didn't, didn't need their father to be right, and I, I want to do right by you. I want to do right by my children. I just, I just need to do the right thing. If you do not leave, I will leave. Stella, please, just think about taking me back, because we are family. I know I messed up. Get out. I need you, Stella. Get out. Baby girl, I brought you coffee. It's hot. What's wrong with you? Huh? You know, I heard the both of you last night. And trust me, I felt so bad. But I have one thing to say though, Stella. See, I know people react to cheating differently because we all are wired. I understand. I think he has changed. I heard everything last night. Trust me. Just give him another chance. Forgive him. But if it's going to affect you mentally, please don't. But whatever you do, Please factor your children into it. And do not, I repeat, do not lose yourself in the process. Because you also matter. Okay? Drink. Drink the coffee I made especially with love for you. Don't think too much.
You don't like it here? No, mommy. Oh, I've seen that you come over here to come and beg you. What do you do that you can't forgive him? Please, mom. Forgive dad. Let's go back to staying together. We miss him. So, you both want to go home? Yeah. Plus, I forgot my tab. <laughs> Something in the world that needed more than air to survive. You've got something in the world that needed more than silver and gold. Hello. I need to see you. We need to talk. A lot has happened. And I have been thinking. I've decided that the children and I will give you another chance. But we have conditions. Honey, anything you want, consider it done. Oh, stop it. You've not even heard the terms. Okay, I'm listening. You will never cheat on me again. If you do, and I find out, we are gone. Monthly, you make provision for this family and give us an allowance to take care of our needs, especially that of the kids. And if you break your vow, that will be the end of us. Sweetheart. I will never, ever cheat on you again. I don't even have peace inside of me to cheat. There is no space. And I have decided that I will give you 40% of my income for, for, for you and the kids to, to do whatever you like. And if it's not enough, just tell me, I'll give you more money. Honey, I need you back home. I know I've messed up, but I'm so empty without you and the kids. I miss coming back to you. I miss your food. I miss, I miss just seeing the kids around. Please, just come back. Fine. I will give us another chance. You will. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Daddy is here. Come here. Come here, darling. Are you home? Yes, we are. Show me where you're home. The way you make me feel. The way I can't imagine life without you. 